Hey guys, Cliff Olson, Doctor of Audiology and founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Phoenix, Arizona. And in this video, we're taking a look at the most popular supplements used to treat tinnitus to see which one is best. Coming up. Chances are, if you're watching this video, you've been searching for different ways to treat your tinnitus, or perhaps even looking for that elusive cure for tinnitus. And you're not alone. According to the National Institutes of Health, approximately 25% of Americans experience tinnitus, and 2% of Americans experience debilitating levels of this condition. If you're one of the millions of people who suffers from this ringing and buzzing inside of your ears, then I would bet that you're willing to try almost anything to get rid of it. And one of the most common ways that people choose to address their tinnitus is by taking one or more popular supplements intended to reduce that annoying ringing. But what are these supplements that are used to treat tinnitus and how effective are they? Well, that is exactly what I'm going to be talking about in this video. But before I get to it, if you could do me a huge favor and click the like button, it really helps out the channel and it encourages me to make more videos just like this one. And while you're at it, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel with notifications turned on, go ahead and do that as well because that will give you a notification every single time I publish a new video. And I publish a ton of new videos every single week. That being said, it's greatly appreciated and a huge shout out to Lanier for sponsoring today's video, but more on them in a little bit. Also, according to the National Institutes of Health, vitamins and minerals started to become a thing back in the 1940s. If we do not receive proper nutrients from the foods that we eat, dietary supplementation is a great way to replace these missing nutrients. By the 1950s and 60s, dietary supplements became extremely popular among adults, and children even got in on the action, myself included. I can remember taking Flintstone vitamins when I was a kid, and I loved them because they basically tasted like candy. It didn't take long for people to start taking different vitamins and minerals in an attempt to address different medical conditions, such as iron supplements for anemia, omega-3s for heart disease, and calcium along with vitamin D in order to prevent loss of bone density. Naturally, if these supplements could be used to treat these specific medical conditions, it is plausible that supplements could also address other medical conditions like tinnitus. So what are some of the more common or popular supplements used to treat tinnitus? Well, according to the Academy of Otolaryngology, Head and Neck Surgery, Clinical Practice Guidelines for Tinnitus, the top three studied supplements include ginkgo biloba, which a lot of us are already familiar with, melatonin, which you're probably familiar with as well, and another supplement that's become very popular over the past several decades is zinc. Ginkgo biloba is the most commonly used supplement in order to treat tinnitus, with the two most important active ingredients being flavonoids and terpenoids, which are associated with antiplatelet, antioxidant, anti-hypoxic, free radical scavenging, and anti-edema properties. The theory is that these benefits associated with ginkgo biloba would have the ability to reduce tinnitus by decreasing free radical damage and increasing blood flow to the inner ear. However, after looking at numerous randomized controlled trials, it was concluded that there was no benefit from using ginkgo biloba over placebo and that it should not be recommended as an effective treatment option for primary tinnitus. But not only only is ginkgo biloba an ineffective treatment option for tinnitus, it can actually be dangerous for individuals who are also taking blood thinning medications. This is because ginkgo biloba also inhibits platelet function, which can lead to other serious health conditions or even death. Okay, so now that we know that research has ruled out ginkgo biloba as an effective tinnitus treatment option, what about melatonin? Melatonin is a hormone that is secreted by your pineal gland and it is involved in your sleep-wake cycle, which is why so many people take it right before they go to bed. There are not that many randomized controlled trials using melatonin as a tinnitus treatment, but it appeared to show some improvement in tinnitus symptoms, especially in individuals with severe tinnitus and insomnia. The problem with melatonin is that these studies were relatively small and they lacked randomization, blinding, or placebo controls. So at this point, it's hard to confidently say whether or not melatonin would be beneficial to treat your tinnitus. On a more positive note, unlike ginkgo biloba, you are not likely to experience any severe side effects or death from using melatonin. In fact, the worst side effects are essentially fatigue and bad dreams. Then of course you have zinc, which is a trace element found in small quantities throughout the human body. Zinc actually helps your immune system as 
as well as your metabolic system. And according to the, you guessed it, National Institutes of Health, zinc deficiency can negatively affect your central nervous system. Considering that anywhere between 2% and 69% of elderly individuals who experience tinnitus are deficient in zinc, it is possible that replacing zinc stores inside of the human body could reduce this tinnitus perception. Unfortunately, several randomized controlled trials that use zinc as a tinnitus treatment showed inconsistent benefit and insufficient strength of evidence to support its use. There are also some potentially adverse side effects from the use of zinc, which include headaches, diarrhea, and anemia. Overall, after reviewing all of the evidence, the American Academy of Otolaryngology Head and Neck Surgery Position Statement on Dietary Supplements states that clinicians should not recommend ginkgo biloba, melatonin, zinc, or other dietary supplements for treating patients with persistent bothersome tinnitus. Now before you jump to the conclusion of of course the Academy would not recommend supplementation to treat tinnitus because they probably want to treat you with something else, just keep in mind that the vast majority of otolaryngologists would love nothing more than to just prescribe a prescription strength vitamin or mineral and send you out of their office so they don't have to deal with your tinnitus. That being said, if these supplements are not effective, what other options do you have? Well, Recently, a form of therapy called bimodal neuromodulation from Lanair, today's video sponsor, received de novo approval from the FDA for their tinnitus treatment device. Lanair is the first FDA approved device of its kind for the treatment of tinnitus and combines the delivery of unique sound patterns using a pair of Bluetooth headphones and mild electrical impulses through the tongue using their proprietary tongue tip stimulator. This form of non-invasive bimodal neuromodulation targets the auditory attention, and emotional centers of the brain. Over time, the coordinated activation of these different pathways promotes positive neuroplasticity in the brain and has been proven in clinical trials to alleviate the symptoms of tinnitus. The Lanair tinnitus treatment device has underwent three large-scale clinical trials to date, and 83% of more than 500 patients who were asked in the clinical trials would recommend Lanair as a treatment to other tinnitus patients. In their third and most recent large-scale clinical trial, 80% of participants had a significant reduction in tinnitus severity, and Lanair proved to be more effective than sound-only therapy for individuals with moderate or worse tinnitus. These clinical trial findings were also consistent with evidence from more than 200 real-world patients. This is what the system actually consists of. You have your Bluetooth wireless headphones there, from Lanair, of course, this receives an auditory stimulus from the controller, and that will also control the tongue tip stimulator. Let me see if I can show you that here on camera. This, of course, you put inside of your mouth, that rests on your tongue, and it will give you these mild impulses that feel a lot like soda water on the tip of your tongue. Now, here's the deal. Once you've gone through a comprehensive tinnitus evaluation and you're deemed to be a good candidate for the Lanier tinnitus treatment device, your tinnitus provider will set you up with treatment. The treatment will consist of either two 30-minute sessions or one 60-minute session per day while you meditate or perform another relaxing activity for approximately 12 weeks. While the clinical trial participants have shown benefit after the initial 12-week treatment window, many of the participants have chosen to continue on with treatment. Unlike tinnitus supplements, bimodal neuromodulation has been proven by research to be one of the more effective treatment options options for individuals who suffer from tinnitus as long as it's included in a comprehensive tinnitus treatment program. If you have moderate to severe tinnitus and you have not had any luck with other treatment options, bimodal neuromodulation using the Lanier tinnitus treatment device could be the solution you've been waiting for. Now don't get me wrong, dietary and herbal supplements can be beneficial from your overall health. I mean, I've been taking different vitamins for years now because when I had a blood test done, my doctor recommended that I supplement my diet with different vitamins and minerals. And before taking any new supplements yourself, whether it's for overall health or whether it's for treating tinnitus, I would highly recommend that you go consult with your physician first. 
This way they can actually see if you have any deficiencies or if any of these different supplements might interact negatively with any prescription medications that you're taking. Otherwise, taking supplements can actually be bad for your overall health and could lead to other catastrophic health conditions. And while I know that you're probably upset that there's no good supporting evidence to use supplementation to get rid of your tinnitus, the good news is there are other tinnitus treatment options that have been backed by research that can get you that relief you've been looking for.